Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we are gonna give you an introduction about how to overcome the Chinese firewall. As many people does know, China has the great firewall for internet content censorship. Once you enter mainland China, you have no access to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and many other legible websites. That would raise a big issue to you when you just want to get contact with your families or just to do the normal things that you usually do. As you may be a tourist to China, or you are just a temporary or even a permanent residence in China for a relatively long time, like for over a month, you may find that you are just like other 800 million Chinese internet users. You have to use a VPN software to get access to the true internet. In my hand, those are some regular VPNs that rookies would usually use, which is very awful. The first one is ExpressVPN. Second one is called Viper VPN. You can see the price there. And here is the Nord VPN. The price is very, very expensive. I can actually tell you, those above VPN suck. I had tried them for years and the first few times I used them, I thought it was pretty simple to set up. But I am kinda heavy users to serve. Then I found them become really rather slow in the evening peak. And the nodes there providing are very limited. I'm gonna talk about some basic theory of how our services work so that you guys could have a better understanding of what is going on here so that everyone has a PC, right? Your PC is trying to visit the websites outside the gates. Basically, the PC will encounter a firewall prevention which is actually is a domain name system pollution. What is domain name system pollution is actually a bunch of systems that work together trying to prevent you from analyze the correct IP address and domain name of the websites. So every time your PC is trying to visit a website, it always return you to a wrong IP address or domain name so that every time you open your web browser you just cannot access to the website. In our case, your PC is communicating with V2Ray client. This client software could be downloaded in v2rays.me. So this client is communicating with your web browser with SOC5 or WebSockets protocol in your computer. And it will bounce the information, the request, to our V2Rays VPS in Hong Kong or the United States. The team has invented a freedom. It's a new protocol to communicate. So this is just a protocol. And the VPS in our websites just passing the information directly to the websites. On the other hand, our PC is communicating with your web browser through the V2Ray client with SOC5. And then we have set up a bunch of domain names for every VPS in Hong Kong or the United States. For your reference, VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. So every server basically has its own domain name with the reverse proxy of Caddy or Nginx. So one could communicate with the V2Ray client and to the browser and then the browser will initiate a transport layer security protocol to the domain name so nobody could know what you are asking for. On other people's eyes, your PC is just visiting a domain name of our VPS. 
Finally, your PC is just communicating through the transport layer security protocol to our whole bunch of domain, which directs us to the VPS in Hong Kong or the United States. And finally, it reached our website, which we want to see. You know, it really makes me a goofy guy who pays a not necessarily great amount of money to those VPNs that are not helping. So I'm going to introduce you guys a proxy software to use, which I have been using for a long time. If you just go to here, right now at the moment, we cannot access to, to google.com since we don't have the VPN on. So we could just type in uh, v2race.me and it will redirect us to the web pages at the home page and the tutorial page. We could download the software necessary for your OS. So here is the Windows version of v2ray. And V2Ray is basically a proxy software for the Chinese to overcome their firewall. So just download here, click here, and we can see it's downloading and to um, go to here and open this software. Right now there's nothing here. It requires us to fill in the URL here, but we have to go to the shop to get the URL and the settings. But right here, this software is changing and altering our uh, SOC 5 protocol in the computer right now. So we should just exit there and go to v2race.me and in the shop we just click in the third button of the home page we should just um, click into the here to change to english so that we can see it through so we just register click the register button and register your account and since I have been already registered I just uh, fill in my information right here so in our page we just order new services and then we could like find the annually plan and order now this button and check out. So right here you just choose the checkout button and then you want to choose Alipay account to pay. You see if you don't have any Alipay account just ask one of your Chinese friend to help. I believe they are more willing to help you. We might add a Bitcoin protocol later so that you guys can become more anonymous. Anyways, I cannot make it without your little financial support. And one fact that find out the customers are not quite used to Bitcoin payment. Anyways, uh, leave a comment below if you need it. For now, you just use your Alipay account to scan this QR code to pay and you will have the service ready in there. Click this button and then you just simply scan the QR code. Once you pay, you just back to client area and then you can choose your payment, my service, choose your annually plan and you can simply just copy the URL here to
to your application like this you can add one by one for this we have like um, so many Hong Kong VPS and US VPS for you to serve in Android you can just uh, download the v2 ray ng so that you could scan this QR code and it's the same effect remember to open this to enable HTTP proxy and choose this one to enable in the application you just hit enter and it should be working so one thing for you guys to know about is that you could simply just copy this address here you can subscribe all the nodes from this website and simply you just click on this button to subscribe and paste in paste in the content and then hit update subscription and bang all the nodes are here for you to use pay attention to your um, date of registration and the expired date so next due date here and pay attention to the bandwidth you have already used it's pretty much of that you can like scan this it also do it so without further ado let's just type in google.com to try to see if it's working and bang here we are you're pretty much a darn the heck firewall breaker so right now we have to have the speed test to show you guys how awesome is this services we just type youtube.com and search in 4k let's let's click in this movie trailer here we could see the YouTube the speed is quite damn fast and stable we have 4k enabled already so that's for now hasta la vista Chinese firewall so in the next video we are gonna have some Python and the next video stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video.